sim racing. It's what I've been doing these past few months and I can't seem to get enough of it. So today I wanted to explain how I got here, what got me into sim racing and my journey from childhood to angelic being or whatever my mother calls me. Let's just start off with chapter one, racing games. My whole life I've been playing racing games. I've always been attracted to the racing game. But I started as a little teeny tiny boy with Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. My dad, he bought us uh, a steering wheel in the 90s, so it was pretty crappy. But it felt awesome to race the pot race scene from Star Wars Episode 1 uh, with a steering wheel, just like Anakin, just like I had seen in the movie theater when I was five years old and thought it was really good. Episode 1 is still very good. From that I went on to uh, Need for Speed Underground and then Midnight Club 3, also Pimp in the Cars, but then there came one game that really changed everything for me and that was Forza Motorsport 2. And me and a friend, we played it religiously, pimping out the cars, making them super duper fast. It wasn't that realistic, but it was a lot of fun. Forza 2 had a, had a premium, it had a and a godlike progression system that you win the race, you get the money, you buy a better car or you upgrade your car and then you progress to the next race and that was fine, that was all good and then they had to ruin the Forza franchise with them wheel spins. So yeah, Forza um, is where I got my real start at sim-like racing, I guess, Simcade is what we call it, me and the boys. Dirt Rally. It was the next game I really started playing that was actually a simulation game. I don't know how I found it, but one day I was probably browsing Steam sales and I found Dirt Rally and I read all the reviews that it was really hard and it was a racing game. Of course, I picked up my wallet and threw it at my TV screen. Then I had purchased it. I was playing Dirt Rally a lot and I got pretty good at it in my opinion. I was never on the top of the leaderboards, but always in about the top 25%, like champion, like a good old fashioned boogity boy. If you've been there, you know what I mean. Fast forward another few years. Uh, 2019 and Dirt Rally 2 came out. It was even more epic than I could uh, than I could have ever imagined, and I played it religiously. So I got really good at that with with the controller and invited a friend over to play it, and we played it together, and we got pretty good together, and it was good old timey fun playing racing games with a friend, and it was really good, and that got me to a real rally, which was also very fucking awesome. And because I started watching videos on how to get better on Dirt Rally and how to improve uh, my drifting and all, this, all that kind of stuff, um, I found this YouTuber. And that brings me to uh, chapter 3. So I found Jimmy Broadband on the YouTube because I wanted to get better at Dirt Rally 2 and I found his videos. He had a lot of fun with just sim racing in general. Uh, his Dirt Rally 2 videos got me there and I stayed for, for him actually. Aww. I got a taste of what sim racing was about, like the possibilities Assetto Corsa with all the mods and all the silly cars and racing against other people. I never really thought about it. Uh, I always wanted a career mode or something out of a racing game and watching him uh, doing 24 hour streams and such um, I thought to myself like wow that's actually really cool 
Uh, he uses a steering wheel where you can feel what what the what the car is doing, and you race against other people. That's like just like real life. So as I started watching more and more of Jimmy's content, I got more of an itch to also get into sim racing. This past December, I chopped the knot. Uh, and I bought a G37, G28, G29, G29, I bought one of those, so those Logitech steering wheels for the PS4 and PC. That's, uh, that's, that's my, my segue into chapter, chapter 4, here we come, sim racing. Oh shit. Good. <laughs> Sim racing, I'm doing it. I started with the set of Corsa uh, when I finally got the wheel. So over the, uh, the winter holidays, the Christmas holidays, I started playing a lot and uh, I wanted to get into league racing. So I applied for sim racing system, but it took like one and a half months before my account was activated after I applied for, for having an account there. So after like two weeks of playing a set of Corsa, just online, just online shitty races where everyone is just boosting the bat into each other, I bought a set of Corsa Competizione and I never really looked back. I don't know what the point of this video is. So um, let's make one up as we go. Um, think with me, think hard. Okay, if you really enjoy racing games and you play them with a controller, uh, that's fine. If you enjoy that, keep doing it. Keep it up. You're good. You're a good person. But if you're like me and you want a taste of something, something real, invest in a G29 or a similar entry level sim racing wheel and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Your skill level will gradually grow. Like on the sim racing side of things, you'll feel better about yourself because you're improving a real skill. And it's been proven that sim racing theory makes you a better racer in real life. So if there's anything we can take away from today's video is um, that sim racing will make you super good at real racing. and. We're all gonna need it when we're in an inevitable car chase once in our life. So yeah, be prepared or be scared. Do <laughs>